We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Alas, for returning for you guys to smash that like button. And here we are with MULN stock, Mullen Automotive Inc. And the stock had an explosive move in the pre market, but pulled down for most of the day. And it wasn't the only stock falling. The QQQ fell as well after the bell. And our QQQ bot sent out a bear indicator since 7.05 a.m. And from that moment forward into the bell and after the bell, things continue to pull down and put options went up 150% plus within minutes to hours, guys. If you want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our spy bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the market so here we are with MULN stock trying to find support at key levels of support right all the way back down here at the 70s now it's a little bit below 80 cents but today it had an explosive run and it rejected at key resistance levels so the stock is within key levels range and we need to talk about what we need to see moving forward if there's strength here holding it up or if the bears are going to try to tear this down even further. But before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the home and opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. We strive for opportunities like these every single day. And as you see, I'm popping up here. These were some of the home runs from last week. They're not guaranteed to always be this way, but we strive for them and we aim for them every single day. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of our growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the two stocks I was watching this morning. Both of them gave jumps a 10 to 20%, 20% plus, but one of them turned out to be a spectacular home run. And that was RETO. We caught this one in the pre-market pulling downwards towards the bell found a support, got that bore indicator, and full transition from white with red borders to bright green on 42 vision, got that confirmation with that bore indicator, and within minutes, it hit a highest point of 30% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So as I stated earlier in the video, MULN stock is within a very pivotal range. The highs from yesterday at the 83 cent range are rejected up there and it's coming right back down to key support levels of 78 cents back to the history of July 29th and August 1st, right? So right now things are at very pivotal points and we did hit a dip area. Things try to reverse and they're quickly going back down towards red bars and another possible dip area. Now, I'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our spy bot, our QQQ bot, newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. And apart from that, we will be using our inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds an extra layer of confirmation on top of what 42 vision shows. And you can now gain access to it as well. So MULN stock here, very volatile, switching from a bear indicator in the last three days to a bull indicator today in the pre-market as momentum was picking up. And then the overall market, as you see in the SPY, went downwards. As you see in the QQQ, as I showed you guys what our QQQ bot showed us, it went downwards. And then if we also pull up other stocks that are related in the EV sector, they had some of the same performance, which is that pull down and things not going much higher, right? Just kind of in a downward trend, even though they try to pop back up. So NULN stock, a lot of action in the pre-market, but after the bell, came right back down to retest these support levels and now under a bear indicator and the outflows are still outweighing the inflows right we see that red line here on the 30 minute for things to actually pick up they need to cross the midpoint like it did right here right 
things were actually faked out during this time period here and this consolidation that's why the stock didn't completely collapse because it was trying to bring itself back up but the outflows were outweighing and all this time it has been outweighed for the last several days and things continued back down they need to get back over that midpoint especially on the 30 minute right now if i pull up the 15 minute you could see things a little bit more volatile and they crossed this morning and quickly it faded as it paused right up here at the peak and things crossed back down and we've been below it all day and the stock has been in a downward trend and the bull and bear indicators are there as extra layers of confirmation that's what inflow versus outflow 42 vision and the bull and bear indicators are there for right to add those extra layers of confirmation give us that clarity and edge to maximize within the moves whether it's a five percent move a 10 percent move or a hundred percent move right it's all about having that clarity and edge over the chart so on the 30 minute we just switched back to a bear indicator today we're retesting support levels that are important which we're going to talk about in just a moment and on the four hour we've been under a bear indicator since yesterday in the pre-market leading up to today and we're still at red bars today in the pre-market it was our first red bar with green borders i'm going to be watching if we can get another one but with substantial actual strength not just a pop up and back down if not continuation and hopefully cancel out that bear indicator with another bull indicator in the process of trying to pull upwards as well as the inflow starting to pick up here on the four hour as you can see it is red as well and it's been that way for months and weeks so every time it's try to come back up on the smaller time frames you could see how things are moving but the main thing holding down this stock from going any higher is the bigger picture here as you can see the four hour has been under outflows and red way below the midpoint all this time so very very important now if we go back to the one day which is the bigger time frame and we look at it together here we've talked about how it's above the outflows right it's actually above the midpoint inflows are holding but it's been red all this time this is only showing us that things have not collapsed any further if it was to cross that midpoint we may see new all-time lows and we may see this get a lot closer to even 20 cents 30 cents but the thing that is holding this up from going back to all-time lows or even going to zero right is staying above that midpoint of the inflows even though outflows are all weighing the inflows are still in there between the days and all this time to not just break out to the downside and completely destroy the chart because once that does happen things could start getting much more significant like they have so super super important to keep that in mind on the larger time frames but on the four hour we're below it and on the 30 minute we crossed below it a few days back and things were actually starting to bring themselves up while the stock was going down this was a divergence here and then finally it popped over it and we got the move here that we saw for the last several days and now we're back here to retest key levels of support the first support level is 76 cents if that gets broken through we've talked about 75 cents before if you want to round it down to 75 instead of 76 you can that's the first key support level and below that would be 70 to 65 cent range now the 52 week low is 52 cents the closer we get to that the closer we are to seeing a new 52 week low within this volatility but the lower this goes if you're bullish if you're looking at this from the long-term perspective not just a squeeze or anything like that and the growth story and potential that this stock has based off of what the ceo has stated there's a big opportunity here for those that see that potential right not financial advice just my perspective opinion alone i could be completely wrong but this is going lower and if it's a stock that someone sees value in the lower it goes the higher the opportunity is right but we've also seen what the wells are doing right we've looked at different articles they're purchasing actually out of the money call options all the way up towards october we'll have to see how that plays out but that's what they've been doing and if you look at the options chain in october you'll see every single week that the volume and open interest is pretty high substantially to other months they may know something we don't or that could be a short hedging against its short position with calls who knows right i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money